Hey, this is Kat. Um, so I'm replying to Kat and this is new to the video because, well, I'm not imaginative enough to on point with my own stuff, so I just do video responses for now until I can think of things. Um, so these are my favorite movies. Hmm, what would my favorite movie be? Oh, Jesus, what a completely difficult thought. Actually, no, I've had the same favorite movies for quite some time. Um, I have three, and here's what they are, from newest, as in most recently added to my list, to oldest. Um, first is Rebel Without a Cause. This movie is so good. I just saw it for the first time a couple weeks ago, a month ago. Um, it's, it's just, um, wow. <laughs> James Dean is such an amazing actor. Uh, he's only starred in three movies because he um, died in a car crash when he was very young. Um, and this is his second feature film. Honestly, in every movie that I've seen him in, which is Rebel and East of Eden, um, I can't think of anyone to play the, these characters better than him. He's just so fantastic, such a fantastic actor. Um, and he, like, this movie really sort of brought out what that rebellious teenager was feeling during the 50s, and not just in the way that, oh, they're rebelling, oh, yeah, that's wonderful, but, um, in the way that th they weren't just rebelling so, oh, they could be crazy and destroy the establishment, but because they really, there is something really wrong inside that not many people saw. Like, it says on the bottom here of the package, and I assume it was probably used as a poster back in the day, and it says, oh, and they both came from such good families. So the idea is that even though, I mean, uh, both James Dean characters and Natalie Wood's characters, they came from, you know, these families that both parents lived at home, they had jobs, you know, went to nice schools, blah, 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 and all that, but it didn't matter those simple things that you would assume would make this a, an ideal child isn't all there is to it. There's more uh, to raising a kid than that, you know. And even though um, they came from a solid house, doesn't mean they came from a solid home. And that's why he's rebelling, because he has this pain inside that his parents don't see and they don't understand, and that most people didn't understand. And, you know, that's that's why it's such a strong film, it's such a strong movie. My second, or second on the list, I guess we're, all three of them are worth the same. Anyway, second on the list of favorite movies is Kamikaze Girls, um, or Shimotsuma Story. This is based off of a novel by, uh, Novala Takamoto, who, the, I also have the novel, it's really, really funny. It's all, it's so it's very good. This movie is hilarious, and it's, you know, it's heartwarming, but it's mostly, it's really funny, and it's also, it deals with rebellion, but, um, which is cool, but, uh, just, these, it's about, uh, Momo, well, Momoko, and, uh, Ichiko, which are totally different, and she's a Lolita, and she's a Yankee, and yet, um, they still become friends, even though she wants nothing to do with her, and she's totally outrageous, and she's totally like, leave me the fuck alone, but, uh, it, it's not like, oh, they become friends, and it's really funny, it's really well put together, and I would suggest it to anyone, especially if you love, if you love Lolita clothing, uh, there's some really great, I mean, the entire, almost everything that Momoko wears is by Baby the Star Shine Bright, and it's just, it's gorgeous and adorable and very well put together. Last but not even slightly least, my absolute favorite movie that's been my favorite since I was three years old is My Neighbor Totoro by Hayao Miyazaki. Um, he's so cute. Look, look at this. Look at this old CHS. This movie is so cute. It's so good. It's just, it's a pure, perfect, awesome win. Like, God, I don't even know. 
how to explain this. If you haven't seen this movie, you have to go and watch it immediately because your cinematic life will not be complete until you see this film. It's just, it's so perfect. <laughs> and this is also, mind you, the original voice acting, not Dakota Fanning or whoever is playing in the new Disney version. These voice actors, let's see, they ha probably have it on the back. Why well, they don't, actually, that's pretty shocking. I can't remember. I have to look it up. The original voice acting was done by uh, a whole lot of people, um, but uh, the main characters, instead of the Sasuke, the older sister, and May, the younger sister, instead of being played by Dakota and Elle Fanning, were played by Lisa Michelson and Cheryl Chase, and uh, <laughs> just... So, I haven't actually seen the Disney version, because I don't want to, because of how angry it'll probably make me, but this movie is perfect. It's just perfect in every single way. Like, Hi Miyazaki, I don't think it, I know, because I've seen all his films, has never made a bad film, but this will always be in my heart. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, any sort of thing that goes wrong, this will always cheer me up. And I really should buy the DVD, because, uh... VHS is, I mean, I've had this since I was five, probably. Um, it's just I have to find the Fox version of it on DVD because the Disney version just ain't, ain't worth it. Um, so yeah, those are my three favorite movies. If you haven't seen them, see them immediately because they're so good. Bye!